Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a really cool painterly neutral kind of a boho background like you see here. And for this one, for the little gold accents, I created like um, a sort of a coral sea design, but you could use any kind of stamp brushes to really give it its own theme. But the focus is, is the, the neutral painterly background and I'm getting ready to launch some new um, color palettes, some boho neutrals on my website. So I thought I would put them to use and show you a little bit what you can do with them. And um, a lot of you guys know, like I really, myself, I love color, but neutrals are still having a moment. So I thought I would embrace that with a little tutorial. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna scooch this over for a little inspiration over here. And so to start off with, um, I am just going to, on my new document, let's just scooch this over here. Okay, so I have a new layer and I am going to, using my color blending pattern stamp technique, um, I'll link that below if you're not familiar, I'm going to grab my Modern Impressionist brush one and um, it's I think number seven of these neutral color palettes. And the Modern Impressionist brushes, if you push down hard on them, you're going to see more of this dramatic color um, uh, gradation. You know, the transition between colors is going to be very dramatic. But if you tap, if you paint lightly with the pressure sensitivity, or if you're on a mouse, lower your um, flow, then you're going to have like more of a smooth background like that. So for the background, I'm just going to fill in this background with this Modern Impressionist brush one. And I'm just using a light flow or a light pressure on my Wacom tablet. And that's cool. So we've got all those beautiful neutral colors, color blending, it looks really nice. So we've got a good background to start. So that's that, let's make a new layer. And now I'm going to use a Palm Beach Garden Party brush 21. And it looks like this. But for this one, I'm going to, for the first layer, I'm just gonna add one of my 24 karat gold layer styles onto the layer. And so that when I do these little like, um, things like this, little brush strokes with, it's just a little kind of a confetti sort of um, light brush stroke brush, then it's gonna come out in like a gold. So I'm happy with that. I won't worry about being perfect for the demo. And then I'm gonna make a new layer. And with that brush, um, the same brush selected, it's Palm Beach Garden Party 21. And also I'm using still the color blending technique. So it's very subtle, but I have this, um, another one of the lightest color palettes from that collection selected. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. 12, 12. I could also put them on a small list here or a large list, but it's a uh, color palette number 12. So it's just um, a subtle variation of the, of the colors. So I'm just going to put some of the brush strokes like this in the background. And I just like that. It gives it kind of like the little painterly sort of effect and it looks like you could have taken more time, but we're all just kind of building up these layers here. So that's cool. We're happy with that. I'm going to make a new layer. And what are we doing on this layer? Okay, this is Modern Impressionist Brush 62. It's still the color blending technique. We're not moving off of the um, pattern stamp tool. And in this one, I'm using color palette number nine, which is just a light one. And I'm just going to, this is like a watercolor brush. So I'm gonna make some cool spaces in here and look how like dreamy and gorgeous that is. Like, I love it. It's so pretty and it's adding such a like, really lovely painterly sort of vibe. So I could even leave that there and you, there you have a digital background ready to go, you know? I think that's cool, but I'm gonna add a few more layers just to kind of build up the drama. So above that, I'm going to make a new layer. And now in this case, I'm going to use my brushwork. These are my um, edited essential brushes and they have a lot of texture in them, they're great. And I'm just gonna use it in one color. And like you see here, these little textural brush strokes, I'm going to add that over on this side. And so I'm just gonna draw some, using a light pressure, cause I wanna see that texture of that brush. I'm going to draw some brush strokes and I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect, of course. 
So that's good. I'm going to take that opacity of that layer down just a little bit. I want them to be a little bit more subtle. And then I'll make a new layer above that layer. And now I'm grabbing my Modern Impressionist brush, brush again. And this time we're going to use the color palette Vert 8. And that's got a little bit more, um, uh, it's a little more color. So I'm just going to, above the, the last brush stroke layer, I'm going to just add a few light brush strokes. And you can see it's got a little bit of like warm sort of brown in that brush stroke. So, and if you don't like the, how the layer turns, you know, the brush stroke turns out, you can just um, redo it, whatever. But that looks cool. I'm really digging that. I might actually make another layer underneath that layer and just add a few more kind of behind. Maybe I want some of the, yeah. So we're just kind of building up that, that intensity and it's all using the neutrals so that you know it kind of all goes together. So it's really good. So we've got those kind of, um, that, you know, everything built up. So I'm pretty happy with that. And, you know, you can always just play around a little bit more. So maybe I'll add another layer and go back to that Palm Beach Garden Party 21. Maybe I want to have some more of those white strokes coming out. I like to see that. Oh, that's pretty there. Kind of maybe put some of them a little bit more dramatic. So quite, quite pretty here. And so yeah, it's pretty similar. You get the idea. And then now we've got this like boho neutral sort of background. And you know, you could leave it like that, keep it minimalist, put a square in the middle, put a quote or something like that. But for this one, I think I'm going to create a new layer. And um, let's see here. I added a gold layer style from my 24 karat gold collection. And I'm not exactly remembering which one I used. Let's see here. I think it was like 5A, but I also sometimes, let's see here. First of all, I'm just gonna put that gold layer style on there to start, okay? And then I have one of these stamp coral brushes from my Under the Sea collection. So that's what I did like to just add a little bit of like a theme to my neutral background because I wanted this to have like a, a go ahead and go with like, a, you know, an Under the Sea, a sort of a ocean sort of vibe. So here's that layer style. We can see this is like a really cool one with you see that paint texture. But for this, maybe I want that texture to be like more refined. So I actually have an action here and I'm just, uh, I just save this as an action. And in fact, I'll um, link this, I'll, 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 I'll put the download for you so you can download this action if you want. It's just to scale down the layer style 50% and I just, cause you can double click on it and type 50 in here, but I like to save things that I do a lot as an action. So I'm hit, play and then that scales that layer style down 50% and it gives it more of a smooth vibe. So I don't actually know if it's the exact same um, layer style. It looks a little darker, but these are my, my 24 karat gold um, ones. So anyway, I'll put the official one that it is down there. That one looks just a little bit lighter, but what I can do is also, I'm just going to copy that layer style and then paste it over here. And I'll look it up later. Yeah, that one was lighter. So I like that. Oops, we don't want to save that right now. So I like that vibe, but then just to add a little bit extra um, visual interest, I'm, I have some stars and I have some sparkles. So I'm just using like a starry brush from one of my collections. I'm going to put a couple uh, gold stars, maybe take the size down. Those are a little bit big. And then I had like a scattered jewel brush from one of my Style Star collections. And I think that looks really cool to kind of add some like gold sort of things there. So I think it's really pretty. And then even on another layer, make another layer and maybe I will add some of those stars in a white like you see over there. And I think that's pretty just, I love the, all the neutrals on top of each other and the best and just throwing some of this little the white stars in there so i think it looks really fun it's really neutral and now that you have this you could turn it into a quote graphic 
You could turn it into a digital background. Um, you could make a surface pattern design out of this rather than putting the, the coral in the corner, you know, turn it into a pattern. This could be a really pretty um, sort of a wedding invitation for a neutral, uh, an ocean sea sort of inspired um, uh, uh, wedding. And, or you could make some like art, you know, some wall art, something really pretty and neutral. So you could do a lot of different things with these ideas. So hopefully you guys enjoy that tutorial. Oh, and one thing I was gonna show you is, um, I don't know, I wanna see what your opinion is. Where did I put this? Mm. I think I did, oh, I had had some, since I went with a the theme, the <laughs> sea theme, I had had, these are some artworks that I had already made and they're with my um, Vectalic Magic brushes, which are actually kind of like my OG 24 karat gold brushes. So they're like gold brush strokes that I made for Adobe Illustrator. But what's kind of nice with those is that you can, I paint with them and it's got those smooth outlines of the gold brush strokes and you could play with the, the width of the stroke. That's how I got these. But um, I don't know if you like, I'm curious to see if you like it with just um, by itself with this background or if you like those kind of uh, seaweed sort of shapes layered above it. So let me know. I'm going to have the resources I used in this tutorial available on my Patreon. And it's kind of nice. I like to do little extra things for my Patreon. So I save the brushes with the colors already loaded so that you know you can follow along and have more fun without having to um, hunt up the brushes. And also, if you like the tutorials and stuff, be sure to check out my whole shop bundle because it's a really good savings. And I usually, whenever I'm doing my tutorials, I'm always using like brushes from different collections. So that's a really op good option if you like this kind of stuff and you're following along with my tutorials. But anyway, hopefully everyone has a great Monday. If you have any questions about the tutorial, just let me know down below and I'll link everything that I used in this tutorial um, down below. All right, thanks.